Hey guys, the glam Dr. Mona Khan and I are back and this week we've decided to change up our top five Tuesdays and make it a top 10 Tuesdays. I <laughs> texted Mona yesterday and I was like, do you mind if we make this a top 10? Because as I was going through my collection, I pulled out 10 things immediately for this video and we thought it would actually be more helpful for you guys. So we are talking about fall lips. And these are all the lip products I just see myself using a lot going forward for the next several months, fall, definitely winter as well. Uh, but these are basically like cooler month lip favorites, uh, both old and new. And I thought I would share my top 10 with you. So I'm gonna be showing you um, obviously the, <laughs> the lip products that I have, but I'm also going to be uh, lip swatching them for you and giving you some hand swatches as well. Uh, but we'll do this casual style. I'm just gonna talk through them, put them on as I go. If you have not checked out the Glam Dr. Mona Khan's channel, definitely do so. She's a very good friend of mine here on YouTube and she uh, covers a lot of luxury makeup is a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan so if you are into Charlotte Tilbury and other luxury makeup definitely check out Mona's channel she's wonderful and I just want to give a shout out to her personally congratulations girl I know you just took the boards she is a doctor and our uploading of top five Tuesdays has been very very scattered over the past several months because she has been so so busy I've been busy you know traveling and she's just been studying with any free moment that she's had so she just took her boards last week and she is now a free woman so anyway let's get into my top 10 favorite fall lippies Despite the fact that we bumped this up from five to 10, this was still a really hard list to come up with. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and start actually with a lip gloss that I don't have in my possession. I actually lent it to a friend and it's the Chanel Rouge Cocoa Gloss in Lac Noir. This is the gloss that basically looked black in the tube, but when you used it, it had just a very nice kind of sheer, deep purpley color. And I actually have another lip gloss in this uh, top 10 that is very, very similar. So when I swatch that, it'll basically have a very similar effect to the Chanel. So this one came out, like I said, part of their fall 2019 collection. They dropped their fall collection very, very early on. So I kind of tucked it away. And in any case, I lent it to a friend, but now I am ready to go ahead and use it. Fall is definitely upon us. So I'm really, really excited to use this gloss. I think it looks really pretty on its own. Um, and you can see me swatch it in my Chanel fall 2019 collection video. And I will leave a link to it down below in my description box if you're interested in taking a look. Um, but I think it looks really pretty on its own. I think it would look really pretty on top of another lipstick. I think the effect that it would have, uh, much like the other lip gloss I'll talk about, which I'll just talk about that next, um, it basically just kind of cools down any lip color that you may have on underneath. And I really love the Chanel uh, Rouge Coco Gloss formula. The other one that they came out with for their fall 2019 collection, it came in the uh, like limited edition white tube and it was like this white kind of crystally color. What color? Or was it called? Oh, it was called Crystal Clear. <laughs> and that one I definitely did not like as much as this Lac Noir because it you could actually feel like the little gritty bits of the crystally uh, glitters in there. It had like a different texture than the regular Rouge Coco glosses, which I really, really like. They're minimally tacky. They um, are not too loose, but they're not too thick. Like they're just great glosses, really great like standard middle of the road gloss formula and their colors are wonderful and I love the Lac Noir. Number two on my list is the gloss that I was just talking about. This one is very similar to the Chanel, um, but this is the Surat Lip Luster in Ton, T-O-N. And I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this for you. So there is Ton. And if memory serves me correctly, I think the Chanel one is a little bit cooler toned than this, but let me go ahead and put this on my lips. So there's the lip luster swatched on my lips. I really, really love this color. I think this is probably the first like black lip gloss that I've purchased fairly recently and I just, I love it. I do love the um, Surratt lip lusters. I think the formula is really nice. Kind of like the Chanel ones, like just a hint of stickiness. I think the Surratt glosses are a little, maybe a little bit thicker. Uh, denser than the Chanel ones. Other than that, I do think that they're very, very similar. So yeah, now that I have a lip swatch this, I do think this one is just a teensy hint warmer than the Chanel gloss. The Chanel gloss, I think, looks a little bit more like bluish purple on the lips. 
but both very, very similar. I also think the Chanel one has a little bit more pigmentation. So that one maybe is best kind of worn on its own or better worn on its own than this one. And this one makes for a great, great topper. I do love topping this over, um, you know, warmer lipsticks that I wanna cool down. This does a great job doing that. By the way, I forgot to mention this in the beginning of my video, but I wanted to say that if you are interested in this makeup look, I did a trying new makeup um, with all of these products that are on my face. I'll link all of it down below in the description box, but I'll have that video up probably this weekend. I wanted to get the Tom Ford quad videos up uh, for the rest of this week and then post this on the weekend, either Saturday or Sunday. So definitely keep an eye out for that. If you are interested in this look, I used some of the By Terry Loose powders and I also used um, the new Laura Mercier Parisian Nudes um, eyeshadow palette and I really, really like it. So. So anyway, thought I would mention that. Next up is another lip gloss and the last lip gloss I'm gonna be mentioning in this uh, top 10 list. So this is number three on my list. This is the new Tom Ford Gloss Luxe Lip Gloss in Phantom or Phantom, and I love this. I've mentioned this uh, before in, was it my favorites? It could have been in my favorites, I don't remember. But I mentioned this gloss and how I thought it would be really perfect for those who are maybe interested in giving the kind of grungy lip look a try, but the really kind of like pigmented matte lipsticks are a little bit intimidating. I think this is a kind of good segue, kind of uh, put your foot into that grunge lip door. So let me go ahead and swatch this for you so you know what I'm talking about. All right, so here it is swatched on my lips. It's funny, today, maybe it's because of the makeup that I'm wearing, today I don't feel like it's quite as grungy looking as it has looked in the past. But I guess depending on what uh, makeup you're wearing, I feel like this uh, lip gloss can look more brown, like a little bit cooler tone. Like today it looks very, very kind of terracotta. See in the tube, it just looks a little bit more brown, a little bit more neutral. This looks very, very warm. Anyway, it could be the makeup that I'm wearing. It could be the fact that my lips are really red because I just cleaned off the other uh, lip gloss, but I do love this color. I do love this formula. It is definitely more uh, goopy than the Chanel or the Surratt. It has a looser formula. It's a little bit more oily feeling. Um, it's more moisturizing, I think, on the lips. It's a little bit more comfortable feeling on the lips. But I really like this formula. I've purchased a lot of the different colors, but this is the one that I seem to kind of keep out on my vanity, throw into my purse. I've just been really, really liking this color. So that is the Tom Ford Gloss Luxe Lip Gloss in Phantom. All right, on to number four. We are moving into sheer lipsticks now. and. And this one is brand new to me, um, but I absolutely love it. And this kind of falls in line with the Chanel and the Surratt lip gloss. But this is the Suku Moisture Rich Lipstick in color 113. And isn't this just fabulous? So this, on top of having a very cool tone, kind of like sheer black base, it also has this shifty color shifting beautiful like micro glitter effect in there it's so so pretty so i wanted to actually put it on my lips for you because i hauled this but didn't actually put it on so by itself i think it looks fabulous it's one of those really easy to wear lipsticks it goes on it's fairly sheer you don't need a mirror you can just kind of throw it on but it gives your lips this like really cool looking sheen, I feel like. So not only does this look great on its own, but this is a great, great topper. Again, just like those lip glosses, but I think with the little bit of glitter in there and the little bit of like duochrome shiftiness, I think you guys can probably see that in the camera, but, but it has like a very strong like red shift in there. And so one of my subscribers here actually um, uses this over her red lipstick and she just loves using it that way. So I'm definitely gonna have to try that out, but on its own, I absolutely love it. Next up is another fairly new product to my collection, but I just had to run down and get it from my purse. That is how much I love it. And I feel like this is gonna be my everyday kind of lip product for, I don't know, probably until it runs out. But this is the new Tom Ford Clutch Size Lip Balms and the color I'm talking about is 02 Opre Soleil. And that is this guy, the very, very nude color. And here is a swatch of it. So it has a decent amount of pigmentation for uh, a tinted lip balm, 
but when I swatched this in my Tom Ford Soleil Neige video, uh, what I noticed, and my opinion has not changed, what I noticed is I felt like this formula in this color just made my lips look really, really soft. They feel really soft too. I mean, this moisturizing lip balm is very, very comfortable and it just feels really great on the lips, but I just felt like it made my lips look immediately very, very soft. Like it really dulled out the lines. And I think it's a combination of this color and this formula, but that is the Opera Soleil from Tom Ford, the tinted lip balm. All right, number six on my list is the Chanel Le Rouge Crayon de Color. This is the Jumbo Longwear Lip Crayon, and I have the color number 22, Natural Brown. I purchased this when I was in New York City in August, and I bought this specifically for the fall season because this is, like the color suggests, natural brown. This is just a very chocolatey brown lip color, perfect for the fall winter time. And here is a swatch of that natural brown. So here's just an all out grungy, grungy color. And for such a kind of moisturizing kind of lip crayon, I was very skeptical about the claims of it being long wear, but it really is long wear. It sets down a little bit, but not to the point where I felt like my lips were dry. So I was very, very impressed with the formula. And this color you guys will see is just like fall. All right, that application is semi-shoddy. I apologize. Um, but there is the natural brown color from Chanel. I know this is not a color for everyone. I know this is a very, very bold color in its own way, but I, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. And it brings out like the redness in my cheeks, but then it makes the rest of my complexion look kind of milky. I think it just does, it does a very interesting thing to my complexion. So I've always been a big fan of like chocolatey brown lip colors and they definitely call to me during the fall winter time. So that is the Longwear Lip Crayon from Chanel in color number 22, natural brown. Number seven on my list is one of the new Natasha Denona, I Need a Nude lipsticks and this is the color Sammy. This is the darkest color that I purchased um, out of the three that I purchased. Yeah, I purchased Noah and uh, Michelle also and those are both lighter than this one. So I thought I would mention this since I feel like this is definitely the most uh, fall, autumn, winter out of the three. I feel like it's just a lighter version of that Chanel. So if that Chanel was maybe a little bit too dark for you but you kind of liked the idea of it, um, this could be a good one for you. I am actually going to take one of my favorite, favorite lip liners of all time. This is the Sicily uh, lip liner in Chocolat. And this is like the perfect, perfect match to all of these kind of like warmer chocolatey brown colors that I've talked about. And I just want to use this to clean up this lip line because it's terrible. All right, much better. Oh, let me um, just swatch this lip liner for you. So there's the Sicily lip liner. You can see what a great match it is for these other lip colors. So again, this is Sammy from Natasha Denona. And if you guys have not heard me rave about this uh, lipstick formula, I love it. It's so pigmented. It goes on in such a creamy way. It really is kind of like one of those one swipe lipsticks. They're just heavily pigmented, so smooth, really comfortable on the lips. I thought for sure something this pigmented, it was going to set down. It was going to start to feel dry, which is the experience I have with a lot of very pigmented lipsticks and it didn't happen. It, they just stay very, very comfortable. So that is number seven on my list. All right, number eight on my list is an oldie but goodie, not even that old, but I have talked about this quite a bit. This has shown up in my favorites over the past year or so, but this is the um, Sicily Lafito Rouge in number 33, Orange Sevilla, and this color is just glorious. This is also another very magical formula. It ends up having um, a kind of like a demi-matte finish, but it's so comfortable on the lips. Whenever anyone has asked me for a matte lipstick recommendation, I always recommend this one because I just think it's it's fabulous. It's really fabulous. It's so, so comfortable. Uh, let me do a quick swatch maybe right here. And you can see it's like a brighter version of these. Oh, 
Okay, another semi shoddy job of applying this lipstick. Anyway, this is the Sicily Orange Sevilla number 33, part of their Lafito Rouge line. So you can see that this is a bit brighter than the uh, previous two brown colors that I swatched and mentioned. Um, so if you're looking for something with a little bit more pizzazz, this is definitely a beautiful one. I love the like warm, burnt kind of like red brown tone to this. It's just really, really pretty. Okay, number nine on my list is one from Pat McGrath. This is one of her Lux Trans lipsticks, and this is in the shade Leatherette. This is, I guess, a little bit similar to the Sicily one we just talked about because it has uh, like a brown base to it, but there's like a burnt kind of red overtone to it. So let me go ahead actually and swatch it. And it's a little bit deeper than the Sisley. Um, it's also deeper than this, but you can see there's a lot more red going on in it than either of these two colors, which are more neutral. Oh my god, I look like the Joker. Okay, there is Leatherette on my lips. I look like the Joker. Let's just let's just go with it. I kept trying to fix this bottom line and I ended up just completely overdrawing way, way too much. So anyway, here is Leatherette from Pat McGrath, another gorgeous fall autumn color. Very dramatic, I think very dramatic. Much darker, I think, than anything else that I've put on so far, but I love, again, I just love that kind of like burnt red overtone to it. All right, last but definitely not least, you guys knew that one of these was gonna appear in this video, but this is one of the Chanel uh, La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue, and I've been loving this Chic Rosewood. Is that the color? Yes, Chic Rosewood, number 112. I've been loving this shade because it's uh, definitely a little bit cooler, a lot cooler than most of the colors that I've talked about today, especially those other lipsticks, the burnt red colored lipsticks. This one is definitely on the cooler side. And this formula, as you guys know, I've been raving about it for quite some time now. It really is incredible. It really is incredible. It stays on, comfortable, like the whole, the whole bit. Okay, so that is the first step and just ignore all of my dry skin on my lower lip there. Um, but you wanna wait for this to set and then you wanna put the other side on. And you'll know when this is set because it becomes incredibly, incredibly tacky and sticky, almost unbearable. And it will definitely feel very, very uncomfortable. And that's when the clear side comes in. All right, I think I'm at that point where it's very, very uncomfortable and tacky. So I'm gonna use the other side, which is this clear gloss. And what this clear gloss does is not only make it comfortable, but it actually seals in this uh, liquid lipstick. Like none of it even comes off on the applicator. It's just great. All right, so those are my 10 lipsticks that I am loving for fall, am anticipating I'll be wearing a lot over the next several months, am really, really excited for. I am such a fall winter baby. My favorite season is winter. I love any temperature that's below freezing. So I am so excited for the upcoming winter. Even though I live in Las Vegas, a lot of people are under the impression that it doesn't ever get cold here, but it does. It does get cold here. I want to say for January and February, it's like you need a coat. You need a coat and you need a hat, especially in the mornings and at night, it gets very, very cold. So I am excited i'm really really excited that the temperatures are starting to fall so anyway i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so so much for tuning in and spending some time with me do not forget to check out the glam dr mona khan's video i can't wait to see what she picks we have very very different lipstick collections so i am very interested to see what she has so don't forget to subscribe down below and comment with what some of your favorite fall lipsticks are i would love to hear from you and i'll see you in my next video